Good morning, Oak Park School. Today is Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. Our special student guest for this morning's news is Bo. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? I will be respectful, on task, accepting, and responsible. I'm an Oak Park Panther. Hear me roar. You may be seated. Thank you for helping us out with our pledge this morning. And at this time, we will pause for a moment of silence, which may be used for your own personal thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflection. Since yesterday we were not in school, today we will give our shout out for this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to the following students, Victor Kishorian and Adia Gaswami. Everyone here at the Panther Cast Productions wish you a wonderful birthday week. It's Tuesday, that means we have another Say It With Your Pause Sign Language tip from Mrs. Craft. Hi, welcome to another sign language session with your Tuesday tip. My name is Mrs. Craft. Happy Valentine's Day. Today's topic is speaking well while signing. Hmm? Yes or no? Well, the answer is both. If the child is deaf and will rely on ASL as their primary means of communication, then no, you don't speak while you're signing. ASL does not follow English syntax. Therefore, it's kind of like trying to speak Mandarin and French at the same time. But if a child is hard of hearing and their primary means of communication will be spoken language with the use of aided communication, then yes, you would follow more of an English syntax so you would speak when you sign. If your child or student has ASD, the progression of learning the signs will move probably at a slower pace and you'll want to speak as you sign. You may also need to modify some of the signs based on your student's ability and fine motor control. Well, until next time, Panthers, say it with your paws. Now it's time for Tuesday News Day, your much needed positive story in the news. Digging a wastewater pipe reveals fossil treasure trove of unknown species three million years old. Excavations had begun on two huge vertical drafts for a major upgrade of Auckland's raw sewage pipeline when the groundworks crew came across something astonishing. Piercing the threshold of an ancient shell bed filled with sea life, New Zealand Paleontologist Bruce Hayward likened it to finding gold right on your doorstep, a once in a lifetime find. 300,000 individual life forms from 266 species fossilized 3 million years ago are offering the largest single insight into New Zealand native marine fauna in history, and a new paper released on the subsequent research has identified 10 new species. We hope you have a great day, Panthers. And like always, always continue, continue to, to roar! roar!